Chapter 6 Interactive Web Pages with JavaScript When you visit a website, you must have noticed that the web pages respond to our actions. They display content and change appearance according to the choices made by us. Such web pages are called interactive web pages. This is possible by scripts written for them. A script is a program that runs embedded in a web page to perform a particular task. For example, when you click a button on the web page, a message is displayed. JavaScript is a programming language to write scripts that run in a web page. A web browser that supports JavaScript can execute scripts written using JavaScript. My first JavaScript program. Let us try a simple program that displays a greeting when the user visits the web page. The code is given below. HTML, head, title, interactive web, slash title, slash head, body. Script language is equal to JavaScript in double quotes, alert, hello in double quotes, slash script, slash body, slash HTML. Did you notice something familiar? Yes, the HTML and body tags. What is new here is the script tag. Within script tags is written, alert, hello in double quotes. This is JavaScript statement. It is using a JavaScript function alert parenthesis to display message hello. When this web page loads in the browser, Script tags are read by the browser. Notice language attribute of script tag. It tells the browser which language is used in writing the script. Then alert function is executed. That is, alert parenthesis function is used to display text strings on the screen. Here the text string is hello enclosed in double quotes. How to save and run a JavaScript program? There are several advanced software applications that are used to design web pages with JavaScript. But here we shall use Notepad to create our interactive web pages. Open Notepad and type the above code. Click on File menu, go to Save option. In the Save as dialog box, open the Save as Type drop down and select All Files. Type the file name as first.html. Note that it is not a .txt file. Double click on this file to view in browser. Variables. The value holders. Variables are storehouses for values. Variables store one value at a time. If a new value is stored in a variable, the earlier value stored in it is lost forever. Variable of a particular type can store a particular type of value. In JavaScript, there are basically three fundamental types of variables. Variables to store numbers, strings, and Boolean values. Every variable has a unique name and it is declared using the keyword var, var. For example, var m is equal to 1, var city is equal to Mumbai in double quotes, where age is equal to 10. JavaScript needs the strings to be mentioned within double quotes. To store a value in a variable, mention the keyword var where, then the name of the variable followed by equal to sign, and then mention the value. Taking input. There are many ways to take inputs from the user in JavaScript. One of them is to use prompt parenthesis. It is a built-in function of JavaScript library. Let us see how to use prompt parenthesis. HTML, head, title, interactive web, slash title, slash head, body. Script language is equal to JavaScript in double quotes, where age, age is equal to prompt. Enter your age, colon in double quotes, followed by parenthesis, alert age, followed by brackets or parenthesis, 
slash script slash body slash html. Prompt displays a message to the users to tell them what input is required from the user. Here the message is enter your age. Since it is a string, it is in double quotes. When user enters the value, prompt returns that value to be stored in a variable. Notice that variable age is storing the value returned by prompt. In the next statement, alert is displaying that value back to the user. How? To alert, the same variable age is passed. Run the program and check for yourself. Comments Comments are a great way to document the programs or to mark desired part of a program as non-executable. Any part of the program that is commented is ignored by the computer and not considered for execution. The double forward slash is used to comment a single line and a pair of slash asterisks and asterisk slash is used to mark multiple lines as comment. Let us use comments to document our previous example in detail. Script language is equal to JavaScript in double quotes, slash asterisk. This is my first JavaScript program. It accepts your age and displays it back. Asterisk slash where age double forward slash variable age is declared. Age is equal to prompt enter your age colon double quotes followed by parenthesis double forward slash age accepted as input from the user. Alert age double forward slash value of variable age is displayed double forward slash end of program slash script. Simple arithmetic. JavaScript allows arithmetic operations with the help of following symbols. These symbols are called arithmetic operators. Operator, operation, example, plus addition, 15 plus 20, a is equal to 5 plus 7, minus subtraction, 20 minus 6, a is equal to 6 minus 5, slash division, 20 divided by 5, a is equal to 12 by 3, asterisk multiplication, 20 asterisk 5 or 20 multiplied by 5, a is equal to 12 multiplied by 3, percentage modulus, a is equal to 13 percent 3. Here value of A will be 1, the remainder of the division. Plus plus, unary increment operator. A is equal to 5, A plus plus. Here value of A becomes 6. Minus minus, unary decrement operator. A is equal to 5, A minus minus. Here value of A becomes 4. Let us accept a number from the user and display its square. HTML, body, script language is equal to JavaScript in double quotes, where n, comma, a, n is equal to prompt, enter a number, colon, double quotes, in brackets, a is equal to n multiplied by n, alert a in brackets, slash script, slash body, slash HTML. In the first statement of the script, two variables n and a are declared. Notice that multiple variables can be declared as comma separated list. Prompt asks the user to enter a number. The number entered by the user is stored in variable n. Let us assume that user enters 3. So, value 3 is stored in variable n. Third statement is showing the use of multiplication operator. Value in variable n is multiplied by itself. That is, n multiplied by n. Then the result of multiplication is stored in variable a. So, a stores 9. Finally, alert displays the value of variable a. That is the square of 3. Run this program and enter 5. Check if you get the result as 20.